Welcome to Introduction to Grid Tie Inverters for Solar Panels and Wind Turbines, Part 2. In Part 1, we restricted ourselves pretty much to inverters, finding out what it is that they do, how they got their name, and the kind of outputs you can expect from them. Now that we're on to Part 2, we can get into the meat and talk more specifically about what is a grid tie inverter as opposed to common or garden inverter. Let's start off with, as we did in part one, with a definition lifted straight from Wikipedia. A grid tie inverter, or a GTI, is a special type of inverter, electrical, that is used in a renewable energy power system to convert direct current into alternating current and feed it into the utility grid. Fantastic. But what really is special, uh, I noticed that Wikipedia used the word special, but is it really special? Is there anything that's that different about a grid tie inverter other than the label and the price? Well, let's have a look. Well, it turns out that grid tie inverters are special. And yes, one of the ways they are special is that they tend to be more expensive. What's special about a grid tie inverter? What sets it apart from even a high-end in quotes normal inverter. Two things. First of all phase matching. Secondly the reaction to power outage. So let's look at those two things in turn. Phase matching. The output of a grid tie inverter must be in phase with the main supply. Now that begs the question what does in phase mean? If we look at two sine waves here we can see that they both kind of head up at the same time in their cycle and they head down at about the same time. They're said to be, in quotes, in phase. If we were to take, if, if those were both electrical supplies and we were to add them together, we'd find that the result would be, again, a, a, a third sine wave bigger than the first two. We've added one plus one and ended up with two. This is a good thing. If we contrast that with this situation, again, two sine waves, but now the first one is heading up when the second one is heading down and vice versa. They're said to be out of phase. If we were to add these two sine waves together, we'd end up with something that would be, well, if we're lucky, we'd end up with a small um, sine wave. If we were very unlucky, we'd end up with something that was just flat. We've added one plus one to get zero, and that's typically a bad thing if we're talking about um, a, grid tie, uh, a grid tie situation. So the way I kind of think of it is that the, the grid tie inverter's job, before it does anything else, is to sense the phase of the mains supply. Once it's done that, once it's kind of got in harmony at, in, with, the, um, with the main supply, then it can do its job of inverting. And it, it, it will invert at exactly the right frequency in exactly the right phase to produce what we want it to produce, of course, our phased matched AC. Um, and its job is really to continue doing that for all the time that it, that it is working. It, it really needs to, it's no good at being in phase now and out of phase five minutes later. It must continuously sense that phase um, so that it continues to, to produce, to, to basically mix the two signals together so that they're perfectly phase matched. Now let's go on and talk about the reaction to power outage. And basically what I mean by that is what happens in the event of a power cut. Well, you might think you're generating your own power from your solar panel or your wind turbine. So you're covered, right? Wrong. A grid tie inverter actually disconnects in the event of a mains power failure. So even if the sun is shining on your solar panels or the wind is blowing on your wind turbines, your grid tie inverter will not produce an output if it, if it doesn't detect mains power. Now this is a safety feature. It protects line workers that might be working on the power grid. And the technical term for it is islanding. Obviously, the, uh, your power company will be uh, more than keen to ensure that any uh, grid tie device that you're using has this feature. We're almost there for this introduction to grid tie, tie inverters. I just want to finish with a quick recap of, of where we've been over the last two videos. We started off by uh, trying to invent our own inverter by taking a battery and connecting it to a meter 
uh, and then all we did was kind of mess around with the wiring to to swap from plus to minus plus to minus and, and hey presto we produced some kind of alternating output from our DC input we went on to talk about a simple electrical circuit um, that achieved the same kind of thing in, but in a slightly more practical way and round about that point we started kind of pulling it apart because we realized that what we produced was a a nice square wave but that square waves not weren't necessarily the nicest thing to feed into our um, appliances so then we we kind of went up in terms of um, inverter quality by talking about um, modified square waves and we you know um, aka modified sine wave or quasi sine wave and we said that that was a step in the in the right direction certainly but not good enough for our for our particular need here which is to get to um, a grid tie situation that led us to the sine wave the pure sine wave the true sine wave which is what we can expect from better quality inverters and what we must require for any inverter that's to be used in a grid tie way and we talked very briefly about pulse width modulation which is the kind of the clever circuitry that they use to produce a nice sine wave um, from an inverter and we also talked about total harmonic distortion which is one of the measures of the purity of a sine wave we then went on to ask the question well what's special about a grid tie inverter and the first thing we looked at was phase matching that means getting those sine waves in perfect alignment so that we end up adding one plus one to get two rather than one plus one to get zero we finished by talking about islanding which is the, the disconnection in the event of mains power failure a very important um, safety feature designed to protect the power company line main that's it we've reached the end thank you very much indeed for your time i've really enjoyed putting this video together i hope you found it useful and i look forward to talking to you again very soon cheers for now